Welcome back to BT Willis Garage. Today we're going to step inside the headquarters and do a little ethanol testing. In your area, you may have ethanol available to you. An E85 mix would mean 85% ethanol, 15% gasoline. The reason why you might want to use ethanol in your car, which does typically require a custom tune, is to make more power, the fact that it burns cooler, and it's less prone to knock and detonation, which is really good for anybody that's trying to go fast and build their car to go fast. We're gonna be doing an ethanol blend in an upcoming video that's gonna be released soon in the 500 plus wheel horsepower F30-335i. I know there's a chance you're watching this video just to learn how to use the kit, so we're gonna get right into it, no BS, and teach you that job now. So some of the problems that come with ethanol is the fact that the quality varies across the United States. In states that produce a lot of corn, you're likely to get a true like E85 or even up to like E90, E95 mix. But in areas like North Carolina, where our headquarters is based, in the winter time, they make the blend, they make it like a winter blend that can get as low as 65, 70%. Today we're gonna see what the January 2020 ethanol blend is looking like in, in central North Carolina from a sheet store. So it does vary from gas station to gas station as well. So just because you got E85 at one does not mean the next day you would get it at that same station, let alone a station down the street. All right, guys, the kit that I chose, as you can see in front of you, is the fuel lit kit. The reason why I chose it is because it actually comes with a glass tester that's etched on the side. A lot of companies are selling kits that have ink for the measurement marks, and that ink will deteriorate from the gas or the fuel and um, over time you won't be able to tell where your markings are. So I'll put this link in the description for the Fuel It kit. Feel free to use that Amazon link. A small percentage of that helps to support the channel. Let's go ahead and get this guy opened up and do our testing. All you're gonna need for your testing is this kit, your fuel, and a little bit of water. So while I'm opening this up, let me just show you earlier today, we visited the sheets and we picked up a little bit of fresh E85. I picked up about seven gallons and we're gonna play with it in the 335 with my tuner. So in the kit, you're gonna get two pipettes. See those there? I typically mark the one that I use for E85, even though it dries out. Um, it's just cool to keep it separated, in my opinion. It'll come with a glove as well as a little bit of, um, of paper towels as well. So here's what I was telling you about with the kit itself. It is glass, and here's those etched markings. Hear that? Those aren't going anywhere. So step one is to open our cap and place it in an area that you can clearly see the lines. So I'm gonna zoom in on this next shot and show you the water line, which is at the bottom, and the fuel line at the top. The process is really simple. You fill up the water first, fill up the rest with the 85, give it a shake, and then we're gonna get a tight shot of what that process looks like. So here we are. I think from that angle, you guys should be able to see really well. I'm gonna get in the way just for a second to fill that bottom line up. You should see it clearly labeled H2O. And what I recommend is to get right down beside it to make sure you're right on the line. Let's check on camera. It looks a little bit over. I'll just pull it, pour a little drop out on my towel. Just a little bit more. This process can be tricky, but don't rush it. You wanna get it right to the line. This is a scientific test. There we go, boom. Now, off camera, I filled up the other pipette with E85 or whatever we're gonna find out it is. We're gonna fill it up all the way to that top fuel line we took a look at earlier. Need just a little more. There we go. And I don't know that it's necessary, but what we're gonna do is reinstall the cap, <clears throat> give it just a little shake, and we're gonna set it up and watch what happens. Now notice at the top there, you can see the level dropping, and it looks like it's already settled. It's pretty clear immediately that this is E70. We'll zoom in on that. See that color change? It actually looks to be like E68 right below E70. So again, this is the North Carolina Sheets Winter Blend. So as mentioned before, there's a formula, and I'll put a link to the formula in the description, 
that'll help you figure out how to get a true like E30, E25, E50 blend. So a lot of 93 that's sold has 10% ethanol in it already. And if that's the case, you need to make up or account for that 10%. So I'll put that calculator. If you guys can't figure out how to use it, leave a comment and I'd be happy to make a video. I'm sure there's plenty other ones out there on the internet. But if you like this content, please let me know. Um, we will, again, be running an ethanol blend in the 335 soon. So subscribe if you want to see that. But if you just came how to, you know, to learn how to use the kit, then here it is. Links in the description. You guys enjoy and make some good power on E85. So in my last video, I told you guys if you left a comment that you'd be entered to win a hat. Get yours today by leaving a comment on this video below. So let's go ahead and get that winner chosen. I noticed we had nine comments, so I'm at random.org. What I'm gonna do is quickly roll these. The third roll is gonna be the winner of the hat based on the way the, com the comments are ordered in my list. First number is one, second number is five, third number is four. Let's see who won the hat. Starting from the top, we've got Allie in one, Arvish in two, Shiris in three, and just to confirm again, that number was four. So the winner is Conrad. Conrad, hit me up, man. 